Hello friends, this is Elitia 3D. In the previous video we have seen some different way that you can set some different tools. In that tools we have seen wall tool where you can select tool in the toolbox and just try to set some different settings like wall settings, door settings, window settings and finally column settings. But now we are going to see how you can provide the beam settings so let's move on enjoy now we open the settings of beam in tool which is called beam tool so we have the geometry and positioning in geometry and positioning on the first we find there is a thickness and the height of the beam this is the beam height it is having 300 millimeter which is equal to 30 centimeter and this from the zero up to the surface of the beam is 300 and also as we know that our wall is having 300 centimeter or 3 meter or also 3000 millimeter height we have to provide the height of the wall and plus the thickness of the beam so that the beam will be on the top of the wall let's make 3300 millimeter so the thickness of the beam is having 300 width so here it is generic structure okay and in home story have zero ground calend and also it can be on the first story or second story but here it is on the zero ground flow calend here we have a straight beam also we can provide an inclined beam on the certain angle like slant angle it is on zero the degree of inclination is zero so let's check how our beam is looking like I click OK and I apply the beam continue the beam let's check in 3d so now our beam is on the column okay check 3d so this is what I have been saying for having a beam which is on the top of the column you have to provide the all on the top of the wall both column and wall you have to provide the thickness of the wall first it is 3000 millimeter height and then add the thickness of the column of the beam which is equal to 300 centimeter you can see the dimension from the ground surface up to the top surface of the beam it is 3300 3, millimeter so when you want to provide the inclination of your beam you can also come here and provide like 20 200 uh, or 20 degree you plug it is okay and here you can see that the beam is inclined and also you can increase the height of this column you can also increase the height of this column like this you can see that you have, can provide some funny structure but when there is uh, the way you can need an inclined structure also an inclined beam can be well used and can provide a well design according to the design that you want to provide so back in the beam settings we can we have to provide zero degree okay here to project the beam is uh, projected from zero and also we have for plan and sections here it is where we deal with the settings of the 2d how the beam is appearing in 2d 
you can see that the line of the beam is also found here in the out in uncut pane or overhead line pane also we have cut pane color it is color 30 so you can change also the line according to the extreme or the age of the beam we can select the different types of line where we have a high then or a dashed line you can change to the solid line or other type of line that you want to use so let's go in the model in the model is where we find the override surface we have been looking like um the beam settings it's gonna be the same to the column settings but here in the override settings we also have some different surface that we have to provide the to put on the paint here there is a left side surface there is top surface there is a light side surface there is bottom surface and also there is end edge when the surface are linked is where you can provide the paint on one side and also it's stated or it's applied on the other side but when you de select the link surface you can provide each and every paint on each surface as you want but when you provide link surface the all surface will be having the same paint let's put on black ivory so link the surface and then this surface are linked yes and then i use this color like this but when you link the surface all the age of the surface have to be in paint of ivory black so let's check in 3d how the beam is looking like so you can see that our beam have changed so back in the beam settings you see that also we have the category of the beam and property you see that the element is classified as a beam so when you come on the layer it is also in the structure building layer so you can provide your own layer if you want to differentiate some different structure which are combined as structure building but you have to know which structure is beam wall column all world because all are structure which are bearing structure and we know that the bearing structure are the structure which support the top different also type of structure or different type of element which provides some applied load on that structure and that structure try to support them and bear their forces or weight so thank you this was some of beam settings don't forget to subscribe so that you can continue in this arcade lesson with every 3d thank you